For Black History Month, uh, I remember a, a lot of trotters in that because they paved the way for all athletes. You know, the reason we do double hitters is because we used to have to go in and play for the white crowd at one time, and then we'll play for the, the black crowd uh, right after. Something. Talking to Geese Osby and just hearing the stories of them having to sleep in, in people's homes when they come to the house, to the South just to go in and do a performance for people. You know, it, it, it's amazing that someone would come watch you perform, but they wouldn't let you stay in a hotel with them or use the same restaurant as them. I appreciate Geese, Curly, Metal Lock, and er everyone before me. Marcus Haynes is a legendary Harlem Glow Charter. He actually paved the way for me and my teammates to do what we do today. He is known for handling and dribbling the basketball. I heard like in the fourth quarter that he used to dribble out the whole fourth quarter and the whole team used to just sit down and watch him dribble because he was that good. So thank you, Marcus Haynes, for all that you did. And we're all trying to follow in your footsteps. Nat Sweetwater Clifton was the first African-American to sign an NBA basketball contract in 1950. He was also a Harlem Globetrotter, just like me. He paved the way for me and other Harlem Globetrotters to be able to perform for you guys today all over the world. If it wasn't for guys like Nat Sweetwater Clifton, I don't think there would be the future Harlem Globetrotters. So thank you, Nat, for everything you've done. Metal Arc Lemon was one of the most world-renowned Harlem Globetrotters of all time. Metal Arc Lemon has a huge impact on the team today and how we do things. <laughs> That's Metal Arc. <laughs> the pitch for the quarter has not finished. Not only for what he did on the court, but also for his character off the court. Thank you so much, Metal Arc Lemon, for who you were and who you've been to the Harlem Globetrotters. Hello? I think he sees something. Curly Neal is an icon, a legend. He helped pave the way for players like me and many others, and also many people who don't play basketball. He's someone that I look up to, He's someone who put his heart on the court and actually showed what dedication means with the Harlem Globetrotters. I've been to 97 countries around the world, but one of my favorite places to play is Madison Square Garden in New York City. We want to say from the bottom of our hearts, thank you, Curly Neal, for everything that you've done for us, and we can't wait to see you again soon. So Lynette Woodard, she was the first female Harlem Globetrotter. Being the 15th woman, she's paved the way for me and all the other lady athletes on the team. She was a role model for us, a pioneer, and she just gave hope to all the athletes out there and all the women out there, letting you know that we can do anything that we put our minds to, and girls are more than capable, so I want to thank her. Thank you, Lynette.